Welcome to another Blender tutorial. This time we're going to animate the lighthouse scene. So we're going to open up the lighthouse scene. First thing we're going to do is we're going to animate the light. So we'll go into overhead view. We'll select the spotlight. And let's round off. We'll set it to minus 60. Could be different for yours. Um, just select an appropriate value. Uh, multiples of 60 are good because uh, we're dealing with a full circle, which is 360 degrees. And instead of the 200 frames that the book is asking for, we'll do 180 frames because 180 divides evenly into 360. Okay, so at frame one, we'll need to insert a keyframe. We're keyframing the rotation. We're not moving it or anything else. All we're doing is spinning the light. And as soon as we insert a keyframe, you can tell because it's yellow. We'll go to frame 61. And we want to rotate this 120 degrees. So we'll set it to 60. So negative 60 plus 120. And again, we want to insert a rotation keyframe, and it turns yellow. So if we go back to frame one and play it, it spins, and it stops at 60. Okay, we don't want it to stop at 60, we want it to keep going. So let's go into the graph editor. We'll select rotation. And we're spinning on the Z axis. You can tell by this blue line. We can zoom in and out. With the scroll wheel. But uh, we can also play with the sliders here. Okay, we just keep dragging and dragging. And we've got the blue curve selected. You can tell because it's white here and we have the markers here. What we want to do for this channel is change the extrapolation mode. We want a linear extrapolation. And linear means a line, so it changes how it connects the key points using a line. Okay, let's go back to the 3D view. We'll put it back to the first frame and animate. And now it spins all the way around nicely. Now, let's select the water. We'll select the texture. And we'll go down. We want to change the offset. So let's set it to frame one. We'll insert zero. Let's set it to frame 60 or 61. We'll change this to point zero 0.01. And if the waves animate a lot, uh, it'll look jittery. If it doesn't move at all, um, then you'll need to increase this number. If it's jittery, you'll have to reduce this number. So I'm going to start off with just point zero 0.01, and we'll see what that looks like. So what I forgot to do is to go into the graph editor and this offset Z, we select it and we need to go to the channel and change the extrapolation. We want linear extrapolation for this one as well. Uh, you won't see anything here because it's very small. 0 0.01 is very small, so you won't see anything. And of course, I have to add the keyframe. And we'll go back to 3D view, and we'll render. Okay, it's not animating very much, so that means we need to reset the keyframe. We'll put point 0.1, and we'll render the animation again.
Okay, this is rendering rather slowly. So what we'll want to do is turn off ray tracing. That will speed things up. And we can also reduce the size. So 25%. And we'll render the animation again. Okay, once it's done rendering, you can just hit the play button. Okay, so you can see the water animating here. And if you're happy with the level of animation for the water, you can just leave it and it's done. You'll notice that the light loops nicely. The water, however, you can notice a jump there. But that's okay. Most people won't notice it. Most people will be focused on the light. Now, if you're happy with the render, we want to make a movie file. So we'll go down to output. I'm going to choose desktop, and I'm going to call it LL World. LL World 3. And you choose the resolution that you like. And remember, a larger resolution is going to take more time. So I'm going to choose 1280 by 720. And we'll choose 100%. 24 frames per second. We can choose 30 frames a second. And you'll need to select the kind of output. And you want to choose a movie format. So MPEG is OK. And H.264 is a good format to use. You can leave the other settings alone. H.264 is, uh, is one of the later formats, and you won't see very much artifacts with that. And then just hit render, and you'll have your movie. And don't forget to save your project. That completes this lesson.